Fancy meeting you here. It's Tournament 25. Pull up a deck chair because it's still Dev M and Symbiosis. We are on the map Langress. Symbiosis on the northern side as allies going free engineers at the start. If one of his engineers are going off on a big epic swashbuckling adventure. What will they find? What treasures lie ahead of them? We don't know. We have Dev M on the south side as the Wehrmacht. Building his Wehrmacht quarters double time with his four pioneers who now have the task of moving out and capturing some stuff. Uh, the engineers from Symbiosis, funny looking dudes, got some shifty eyes on them. Where are they going? I think they're going after this fuel point, which is very unusual. That's going to delay ever so slightly. Tinsy wincy bit. Dev M from getting that point, but... It's going to rely on these engineers maybe winning a battle against the Pioneers and even prolonging it uh, even further. Whether that will happen, we don't know. We do have three engineers out, though. Our last engineers were tasked with the job of constructing the barracks. Just checking the tactical map. No one's going around uh, the left side of the map. No one wants that. Interesting. Very interesting. But no combat happening just yet. Very delayed combat. We're coming back for this munitions point. I am literally... We'll talk about this. You see this right here. It's orange juice. With bits. I don't like bits. It feels all horrible and gooey. And I hear an MG42 spraying these engineers who are unfortunate enough to get caught in those blasts. Uh, they get back up on their feet though. And the MG42 is just moving around into that building. He's going to try and get in the air. The engineers look like they won't be able to win the race to the front door. The engineers here, though, looking good from Symbiosis. We've got a crater in here we can hide behind. Uh, yet again, uh, we hear an MG42, this time on a bike, shifting them away. Uh, the Pioneers are coming back in. They're going to fire some uh, bullets into them as well, I think. Uh, yeah, we're going to get it. We're going to get it. And the Pioneers can proceed to capture that. No, they're going to repair the bike first. Okay, so that's going to... Uh, Go back into the field as soon as it's fully uh, repaired. And what's, what's its task? What is its objective going to be from Dev M? He's got a bike. He's got an MG. He's got. Come on. Let's 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 go. Let's do this. We've got the MG bike combination. It's really annoying to have to deal with the MG bike combination uh, because the bike can push any flanking squads away. Uh, helping Volk squads when they get out. Hopefully we should have uh, some Volks on the field soon. Uh, but just right now is Dev M's vulnerable point. And if if Symbiosis can capitalize on it, he can do a lot of damage early on. Uh, this bike is going nuts. It's just driving along this road. Using that amazing speed to be hyper annoying. And we've got a rifleman squad out of here. Now... Symbiosis not doing too good on the flanks. We see that our rifleman squad approach right in front of this MG42. Dev M knows where that unit is now. And these guys are stuck back here. So we're not doing so well on territory capture right now. Oh, Symbiosis needs to meditate. He lost the last game. It wasn't so good for him. It was pretty brutal. We've got a very large flank rifle squad, squad here. Uh, but they're going to go up against a pretty much a mirror matchup here. We've got Volks, Rifle, Pioneers, Engineers. A bike is going to come in, though. That's going to be very welcome for Death M's battle on this side of the map. There's MG fire in the middle, suppressing some squads. I can see on the tactical map in the bottom left-hand corner. Do remember to check that out. Uh, the bike is getting all up in this guy's grill. <laughs> it's going to have to retreat out of there. So he's gone. The Volk squad and the Pioneers. And everyone here wins, apart from this engineer squad, which are upgrading their flamethrowers as we speak. They're moving around. What do they want to do, though? Because sure enough, this Volk squad is soon going to be on their tail. Uh, the bike, yet again, just driving it around. This is motocross. Motocross of heroes. Now, the rifleman squad from Symbiosis is moving back. And again, look at Dev M's bike use. It's really... It's, it's, it's everywhere. All over the place. He just gets so much intelligence uh, of where units are on the field just by moving this around. Doesn't need to keep it here but he is he's doing some damage with it as well just shaving every little bit of hp he can so when these riflemen come back out onto the field he'll just be able to pulverize it again get a load of kills and very easily enforce another retreat uh, gaining himself a lot of field presence in the process we've got barbed wire coming up in here uh, now symbiosis needs to be very careful because he is soon in for a base pin uh, we do have an mg squad uh, just one not a secondary one so it's not too critical uh, not too difficult for Symbiosis to break this pin with just one MG, but 
Still got to be careful. Still got to be very careful. He's got to move around, around here. And around here and get everywhere. Get these flanks in. But now we have a Volk squad. Uh, two Volk squad losing the strategic point as well. Back to the cutoff. No more munitions. No more fuel from that side of the map. The bike is on fire. But that guy seems to be cherishing the flames of the, the flamethrower. Oh. oh, we get away. Oh, that's nice. Okay, we don't lose our flamethrower squad. That would be uh, 50 munitions down. We don't want to do that at all. I can think uh, maybe a good idea for DebM to do right now is to place some more barbed wire down. You can bed your ass he's going to do that as well as capture this fuel point on the left-hand side. Uh, interestingly enough, we've got engineers down here as well on this fuel point. That's interesting, put it that way. I Yeah, you can see this whole force. It's like, what? There's engineers down there. Oh, hell. Dude, we better send the whole army for it. We even got Volks here as well. Uh, already, there goes the retreat. Is Dev M on an intercept course? He's going to try and barb wire the squad in before they get there. Is he going to make it? Why is this guy stop? What? That's... This is not the time for sightseeing. And the engineer squad is gone. Ah, the bike. This bike is doing really well. Dev M... I've seen his Jeep micro, I've seen his bike micro. It's really special, put it that way, and I'm liking this. We got a weapon support center, a mortar out, and smoke coming down here. You've got to admire smoke use. It's the best thing ever. It will protect you from being suppressed by an MG. Damage, uh, I'm not sure if there's much damage sort of reduced there, but I'm going to say it's... Probably a little bit of damage reduction. Oh, a mortar lands on that pioneer's head. He hits the dirt. He's not even going to be able to be picked up by a medic. There are no medics on the field just yet. But I think that would be very complimentary for Devon to do. Uh, when you're doing such base pin things, you'd also uh, pick defensive operations. You can prolong uh, that base pin for as long as possible. Do as much damage without taking too many casualties. Even getting gains from losing those casualties. Uh, getting grenadiers out very early on now. And we have a sniper out from Dev M as well. Volks taking up the heavy cover. Riflemen are also in heavy cover. Uh, symbiosis. Wow! Triple kill there. So, so fast from those Volks squads. Uh, as I was saying, though, Symbiosis managed to get, like, to the cutoff point, And that was it. He's just cut off again. Dev M uh, gets him in a headlock once more. And it's going to be even more difficult this time for him to get out. And we're going to see more and more units being produced from this weapon sport. Sniper this time round. Uh, we got <laughs> smoke rounds again landing right on top of that MG. Which is probably the best place you can do it. Unless they decide to move their MG around the smoke. Which you've got to be uh, wary of. That's a very good use of an MG. Uh, if you see smoke popped on it, move that MG around so it can get better shots. Uh, be wary of any flanks as well. We need some mines around here. Uh, that would be really good for DevM's defensive pin. But actually, he's not defensive at the moment, I, I don't think. We've not seen a Doctrine choice just yet. No For the Fatherland. No early signs of anything being picked. I like this barbed wire down here. I can see a triage center going down from Symbiosis. He's going to heal up his soldiers. He's very much needed that right now. Uh, but he's slowly losing all of his territories. Not that he has much anyway, but... It's a big deal this early on in the game. I can see maybe Dev M going a tier 3, bringing out a bunch of Pumas. It'll be a classic early Wehrmacht win. Maybe some Stugs as well. Stugs, Stugs can be pretty annoying. Knew it. Knew it. Did he just lose a sniper here? I think I saw 19 XP. I will check here. Yeah, he did. Okay, Mortar. One kill, and that kill was a sniper. Supply Yard going down as well. But I don't see any M8s coming down soon. We have mines down here as well. Uh, no fuel right now, apart from this here for Symbiosis. It's not looking good for Symbiosis with the guitar. He has a guitar. I wonder what kind of songs he can play on his guitar. Right now, he should play him an upbeat song to try and get back into this fight. We've got a sniper roaming around. No counter snipe here. Uh, that MG bike has been destroyed. And so he doesn't have to worry about that either. There goes the sniper. Come on, take some shots. He's already got two kills. Needs to load more. The mortar is deciding to shoot its own troops. Got to be careful of that as well. It's a big deal. But, ooh, yeah, Dev M's just calmly backing off now. He 
doesn't want to make the same mistake as the first game, and that's overcommitting. Overcommitting can really destroy a lot of your own army. Uh, walking right into your opponent's base or outside of the opponent's base, taking way more casualties than you're inflicting is not a good way to win a game. If you try to win it early, it's always better play, uh, better to play it safe than to try and win as soon as possible. We've got mines that have just been picked up and swept by Symbiosis with his Minesweeper squad. Excellent play there. Forces a good retreat. Dev M is moving back up yet again for the base pin. Everyone's moving uh, into the base. We've got a motor pool down. Uh, we got a mine hit. It killed two guys. One of them's completely disappeared off the base of the earth. And there's a Puma out. So this is not looking good right now. Motor pool is going to be seen from this Puma. And he knows that there is no catch to this. There's probably no stickies from the Rifleman as well. So this Puma is completely uncontested. If only we had an MG with that armor penetrating round. That's the only thing we could really uh, do against this Puma right now. But even that would not be good against a professional player. Dev M is a very good guy. He isn't going to be thwarted by an MG, a 30 cal with armor penetrating round. So he's just having a field day right now. <laughs> I get to kill everybody. That $200 prize pool is mine. He must be tackling to himself, but you still... Uh, even if you win this game, you still have to win one more, so... Dev M... He can't afford to throw the game away just yet, so be careful, Dev M. No stickies being researched, no green flickering light from this barrack, so you know he's still safe. And nothing being produced from the motor pool. You can see, look, Dev M is just... He, he could come round and kill this, but he's gonna work on that MG. Uh, we got a flamethrower squad on the right-hand side, burning some Volks. And Rangers have just popped out. Rangers are very welcome addition to the battlefield. Yes. Now, bazookas. You may hear me say that they are the worst weapon in the game, but actually against Pumas, they are not half bad. Uh, but Dev M knows that the Rangers are coming out. He saw it from the Volk squad over here. That, that guy saw it. The one without the eyes anymore because they've melted. Uh, he saw it, gave the intelligence, and what do you know? The Puma backs away. Uh, great play here. Now, the Rangers are going to move forward. Check that side shot. Oh, a lot of damage from one bazooka. Uh, really, really nice. Two Pumas are out now. Uh, the Rangers have to back away. They are taking extra damage whilst they're capping. That's no good for them. Gets a good frontal shot. Come on, you're facing two Pumas. I like to see Rangers win this. That damn fence is just in the way. We want to blow that up. We should have got that out of the way early on in the game. The Rangers are sitting behind the heavy cover. They can't fire as far. 75 millimeter. Uh, armored car now. That's 75 munitions as well, oddly enough. Isn't that a coinky dink? It is. We've got a sniper out here as well from DevM. Interesting. Uh, sprinting away. I'm sprinting away. Avoiding you. What the hell went wrong there? Uh, still, Rangers hiding behind the fence. They don't seem to be getting very lucky with these shots. Oh, so close. We are backing away now. It's time to repair. Look at that 90 degree turn there. That was like... Jeez, the amount of G's that you have to pull to survive that. Um, I, I actually don't actually know anything about G's and stuff like that. I'm not a physics person. Um, I actually skipped most of my education in school, apart from math, science, and English, which I did pretty good at. So the reason for that was basically because all of our education uh, in the English schooling area is bollocks. Uh, put it that way, to say the least. It's like... Music, education, arts, anything that isn't math, science, and English is just downright awful and it doesn't teach you anything uh, about surviving in the real world. No tools of the trades, which is a shame, really. Just uh, but anywho, we are looking at how these players are going to survive. I've got an MG42 moving back up yet again. Uh, MP40 Volks, I like to see them. Six kills on their belt so far, but up against Rangers, they went well. Actually, three Rangers, they uh, stand a good chance. Uh, two Bazookas. One standard M1 Carbine, is it? No, that looks like a Garand to me. It is a Garand. Ooh, I love the Carbine Rifles. I remember the days of Call of Duty 1. Call of Duty 1! The Carbine was such an awesome, nice weapon. It made a really nice sound as well. Uh, the MP40s are moving up behind... Uh, this wall charging. It doesn't look like a very good engagement for these MP40 Volks, though. I just heard a sniper rifle. I think someone just got counter-sniped. Uh, we have... No, DevM sniper here. 
We got that sniper here. Oh no, wait! It really hit once! Okay, so I think maybe he shot twice on this sniper and he missed it. Uh, eight kills to this sniper from Symbiosis. DevM sniper, only one kill. Uh, must have missed a shot and he'll hit someone else. We've got a Greyhound hopping out. We also have this AT gun out as well, which is a very, very good thing to buy. Which is exactly what we needed. Ranger's AT gun is going to be an excellent combination. We can certainly deal with these two pumas on the field. And hopefully the AT gun will hit this Jeep, uh, the heat to this bike rather, before this charges right in and reveals the sniper. It's going to be very bad. <laughs> Oh, it happened. The AT gun failed to protect. And the tree blows up as well. So, what have we learned today? Don't need chargers with snipers. Or you'll get it killed. Uh, especially look out for these bikes as well. Intelligence is very important. You see that bike charging before you need to retreat straight away. I guarantee that there's a counter snipe coming when you see that bike charging in. I mean, what else is it going to do? That's exactly the point of the bike. You run it in, find the sniper, kill the sniper. Uh, AT gun moving, got the Greyhound receiving its upgrades. 50 cal is now in operation uh, soon. Now in operation soon. There we go. It looks really, really fast to buy that. It doesn't take long to pop up at all, but the Rangers are moving forward. Greyhound moving forward. Where, where is that AT gun? Get here, coward. You must fight. Oh, come on, Symbiosis. Pick up that micro. We got an MG42 flanking from the left hand side. These guys do have a fire of ability. Uh, we have this sniper here from Dev M as well. Oh, we're gonna lose them now. Yes, they're gonna get away. Ooh. Well, what is it? End uh, game two. End prematurely. I hear a Neville out in the field as well. As I give the back of my head a very good scratch. Uh, it's a very hot day here, by the way. So, but we just had a barbecue as well. Barbecue. And remember my barbecue weekend. Just a quick announcement of that with the Twitch live cast channel. It's twitchtv.com forward slash Anuki TV, uh, where I'll do live Company of Heroes casts. And maybe next year I'll probably do more stuff as well. Uh, different games, but that's where I do my live cast. So do check that out if that interests you. The sniper. Wow. Dude, he didn't. Like, what? It's just. That two bazookas fired at him. He's just like. What is this? Why are there things blowing up around me? I don't know. He doesn't know at all. And Greyhound is dying though. It's trying to face up against a goddamn 75mm Puma. And it's going to take a rear shot as well. Oh, wee. <laughs> oh, don't worry. That guy will fix the engine. Come on, R2. Come on, R2. Fix the engine. Greyhound looks like it's going to get away. Come on. You can push it. Push it. No, don't stop here. Why? <laughs> that was the most idiotic mistake I've seen Symbiosis do. Oh, oh, don't stop in the middle of the road. Wow, again, look at the 180 degree turn from these epic driver pumas. The bike is coming in as well. Uh, it's looking for that sniper. It's a hungry, hungry hippo. And it's hungry for snipers. Ah, the puma, though, it's backing away. That's it. Let's just play very, very safe. we got the AT gun there. Maybe we could fire a few shots on that and weaken it. Hopefully destroy it. Oh, that'd be very, very good. we got a Neville landing yet again around here, I guess. Uh, this is... Like, just raining fire from the sky is not good for this base's health. In fact, it's not even landing here. It's landing all the way back here. That's a very interesting place uh, to put it, because most of these soldiers would have had time to move out. Uh, also, Symbiosis will hear that Neville in the background. You can hear it uh, from anywhere on the map. It's a good scorching sound. You can't miss it. And if you've just hit the retreat button, uh, you're probably going to see that landing on your base. From these players, anyway. I remember these players think logically so in some sense they are predictable as well in what they're going to do so you can end up avoiding mistakes uh, compared to lower level games our sniper is being chased down by the mp40s but uh, takes one shot runs away like a coward uh, so many cowards in this game rangers popping up behind these mp40 volts running across negative cover wasn't healthy for them uh, the MP40s, though, going for the victory point. The victory points are very, very low right now for Symbiosis. 126 to 476. As soon as that ticks down to zero, Symbiosis has lost one game. But he still has a second chance. And a third... Actually, no, he only has a second chance. He has to win the next game and the game after that to win the tournament. So, yeesh. Come on, Puma. We had a bunker down here as well. That was an interesting bunker. I don't know why that was so far forward. I think that was going to be an MG42 bunker, though. Uh, judging from the position of it, great side shots there from the Rangers. The AT gun is almost in a good position. Very delicate, though, because it's... Oh, yes, it's going to take the side shot. And what... 
Uh, where did that go? Oh, the Rangers got it anyway. Never mind. Uh, the 80 gun complete failure there. Don't lose Rangers to Nebels. Oh, uh, yes, we get lucky. We get lucky. Or Dev M gets unlucky, whichever one you want to... Uh, you know, which point of view do you want to spectate from? We've got Supply Yard Upgrade going down. I don't think that can help Symbiosis now. He needs units! He needs a lot of units. In fact, actually, he's done not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. The Dev M's army, it's not... We've got these, these two MP40 Volks. The Pumas actually, I'd say, are less of a concern when you've got Rangers and AP peeking out. But the MP40 Volks, they're gonna hurt, man. We, we don't have too much rifleman squad, so we've got one here, we got one there, that looks about it. We could use maybe a medic station approximately 10 minutes ago, if Dev M just keeps calm, he's gonna win by VPs, he doesn't want to lose it like the first game, the bike, I don't know what the bike was intending to do, oh, out of control, yes. Crashes into the hay as well, and I thought that was the driver actually going to fall uh, head on first and slide across the ground like a face plant. That didn't happen though, and look at this. Okay, GG, but so much killing from the MP parties at the end. I love it. Langress Symbiosis is saying, yeah, the base pins on Langress, they happen a lot. So, right. Join me for the next game. That's going to be the fourth game of the finals. I look forward to it. And I look forward to you. I don't look forward, however, to trying to consume this orange. Maybe I can find some homeless guy that will like the orange juice with bits. But for me, it's a big no-no. So, good night, everyone. I'm Anuti. Is that it?